I want to go back to the surveillance tape here uh, of Zimmerman getting arrested because I, I wanted to make one point about this. Now, uh, let's show the tape here. Now, everybody's seen this at this point, and you know, he's coming out of the cop car, and we've already talked about the fact that uh, he doesn't seem to have uh, significant bruises or seriously bo serious bodily injury. Remember, in order to use lethal force, you have to believe your life's in danger. Uh, people have zoomed in on the back of his head. They see a slight cut. They see a cop looking at that slight cut, um, and they're discussing, you know, uh, whether that, that is some injury at least. To Zimmerman, they claim he has a broken nose. His nose looks perfectly fine there. But here's what I want you to notice: the clothes. There's no blood on them whatsoever. Okay. Now, if there is, I mean, it's so minuscule that you can't see it at all. Now, some people have also commented, hey, wait a minute, if he had a broken nose or he had this huge gash on the back of his head, wouldn't there be blood all over his clothes? But here's a point, extra point that I want to make. Remember, the Zimmerman's account is that Trayvon Martin is on top of him and pummeling him, and he's afraid for his life. And hence, he grabs his gun and shoots Trayvon Martin. If you shoot a guy that is on top of you, there would be blood all over your clothes. There's no blood on his clothes. Forget the injuries to him. If his account was true, look at his shirt. Wouldn't nope. there be blood all over that shirt if you were at such close range and you were worried because Trayvon Martin's on top of you and you mm -hmm. shot him? There would have been blood all over you. I mean, somebody's right on top of you, grab your gun and you shoot him and there's no blood on you? There's something seriously wrong with that story. So. Is there a CSI report on this? We haven't seen it yet. I'd love to see it. What did they conclude? We already know that the lead investigator has said that he thought Zimmerman should have been charged and that uh, he wanted to get an arrest for his, uh, a warrant for his arrest. And apparently the state attorney stopped him for some reason. We know that he told one of the witnesses that he thought there might have been some stereotyping involved here. And that, that footage there, I think, uh, goes a long way towards sharing that Zimmerman's story is ridiculous on so many different levels. Steve? Yeah, also they should um, have uh, bruising, all, they should have found bruising all over Trayvon's fists. Uh, his hands should have been damaged. I mean, if you punch someone in the, in the head, in the face repeatedly, so many times, you're gonna get some bruising on your hands too. There's, there's no evidence of that. Uh, I mean, yeah, the not- Yeah, the doctor who did the autopsy should be noted, uh, has already done an interview and he said he found no traces of bruising or any other cuts on Trayvon's hands that would have indicated any fight. Now, there might have been some scuffle, right? We don't know, that's really hard to tell. But was there a fight it, with enough force that it would have justified Zimmerman pulling out a gun at close range and shooting Trayvon Martin because he thought his life was in danger? Well, none of the evidence backs that story. 